Jonathan Rumi went on The View, and this is a big deal. I know it's a very small but loud minority, but there are a few people who are upset about Jonathan Rumi joining The View today. And if you don't know what The View is, I'm going to explain all that today's video. We're going to jump right into it. So let's go ahead and roll that intro, and we're going to play a clip from The View. <laughs> I think, you know, because of how we really take great pains to make these characters that most people know just from a few lines of scripture or they, they see them in stained glass windows or in statues, uh, we, we take them off of those pedestals and make them relatable real life people with marital problems, with, mm -hmm. you know, issues of, of childbirth and the things that we go through today, the issues that we go through today. So by seeing, um, essentially ourselves in these characters like any great TV show you start to identify and yeah. then the fact that it's this story that is the greatest story ever told now brings it to a whole other level yeah. and they're like oh I can relate to Jesus in a way that I never thought I could before so if you don't know what the view is the view is a talk show with Whoopi Goldberg etc I don't know the other hosts names but it's a talk show with women where they talk about relationships or beauty tips or they talk about the day's news often politics and share their opinions on that stuff and then uh, they invite a celebrity guest or two and just have fun or perform with the audience, that kind of thing. It's like any other talk show, you know, you see out there. A few days ago, like in the Chosen Fan Clubs and stuff on Facebook, somebody pointed out that they saw Jonathan Ruby was listed to join The View today, January 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern, which is really cool. I was really excited about that. I was like, wow, that's great. Because if you don't know what The View is, I mean, it's one of the highest rated talk shows. I think it has the highest viewership in its like 24th season or whatever. It has like 2.7 million viewers in, you know, 2022, 2023, that time period. So that's awesome. And Jonathan Rumi was invited on the show, which is great. And I saw in the fan clubs and stuff, people were getting upset about that. A lot of people. You can scroll through the comments in any of the fan clubs or in the fan groups on Facebook. I see people are upset. They, oh, I don't want to watch The View. I don't like it. Glad that Jonathan is on there, but I don't like The View. Someone's like, I'll skip to the part where Jonathan's in it. And I won't watch the rest of it. And, you know, it's a hot topic. So the only thing I would say to that is that the whole point of the show is you're hearing these specific women's The View. It's their opinion. It's their platform. And it's a free country so they can share their opinions on everything. So most people take the reasonable stance of, I just don't want to watch that, which is fine, because you don't have to agree with what everything everyone says, but everyone's platform is a place for them to share their opinions. I'm sharing my opinions here. That's why people come to watch me. People don't come to watch me for my opinions on things. They just come to watch me because I give information about The Chosen. Sometimes they like to hear my opinions, but that's really, I mean, it's my platform. I get to say what I want to. So if you're watching someone else's platform, they get to say what they want. So, But I saw a lot of people who were you know, saying, I don't want to watch The View. I will never, ever, ever watch The View. This is a topic that I think is important and kind of Jonathan Rumi kind of talked about and mentioned. But I would say this doesn't solve any of the issues that we have presented here because I think people are mostly disagreeing on the political stance of The View. What I've heard uh, Whoopi Goldberg or the rest, they're all liberal. They take liberal stances or they take a left-wing, central, political stance on issues in society. So people don't agree with them. Christians who are typically conservatively politically aligned in the United States don't want to have any part of people who are like that. So, you know. Whatever about that. Well, this is just a great way for Jonathan to get to spread the message of The Chosen to the world, which is awesome because Whippy Goldberg, like, uh, she has 1.1 million followers on Instagram, I think. So, 1.1 uh, million people who wouldn't typically watch The Chosen are now being, whoa, what is, or it's not 1.1 million. Not all of them are seeing it, but most, a lot of people are going, oh, what's The Chosen? I never heard that before. Because since Whippy Goldberg has established herself as a notable figure in the public eye, she has a following, and people, oh, oh Whoopi Goldberg likes this show, maybe I'll go watch it. There's a chapter lately that I've been reading a lot, uh, based on things that are going on in my life, or I've been experiencing some hurtful churches, and I was just thinking about 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, the chapter is titled, The Way of Love, and it's just, it's really great. I've been reading it recently, and I was like, wow, that's, that's really cool and really typical to what we're talking about today. Maybe I'll just read a few uh, parts of it for you. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy or boast, it is not arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. So, as Christians, we are called to be loving. And I think a lot of the societal discourse, Ellis has talked about this before, uh, but a lot of the societal discourse that's happening in the country of America, where there's this opposition of the world versus Jesus or Christians or that kind of thing. You know, in the Bible, Jesus says, if they hate me, they will hate you. You know, there's opposition in the world. People don't like hearing about Jesus. You know, I know people who say the truth hurts. You know, people are going to be turned off by the truth, the truth of word and the God. That's what the Bible says. So that's obviously going to happen. But I think what hurts more than the truth, the truth, the Bible and the gospel is when Christians are being arrogant or rude or hateful in a way that's sinful and that needs to be checked 
and repented of. That hurts much more than the truth of the gospel, right? Because it's the good news, the gospel. So when Jonathan gets the opportunity, he was invited onto The View by these ladies who, I don't even really know their names, but I know that they're notable figures in society and that a lot of people watch The View. The fact that these people invited Jonathan on, he should always say yes, because it's a opportunity to show the world, you know, you don't want to fight fire with fire, right? If someone's being, there's a lot of hate. And they, I've seen people say that the people in The View, they're hateful and they have hateful takes whatever. They're making a living based off their opinions. So that whatever, uh, you don't have to agree with them, but, um, people don't like the view or Whoopi Goldberg or whatever the people are, you know, for Jonathan to get to come on their show and say, Hey, thank you so much for having me on. Thank you for this opportunity to talk to you because we're all people trying to navigate through this crazy messed up world. And when we start being hateful towards each other, based on what we believe or based on religion or that kind of thing, it doesn't, it doesn't help at all. You know, you don't, you don't stop hate with being hateful. Stop hate with love. And as Christians, we're called to love. We're called to rise above the hate of the world. And if Jonathan's being invited on The View and we start spewing hate towards the women of The View because the internet gives us the opportunity to say whatever we want without having to face the consequences of having a face-to-face conversation with someone. So when you just start saying things, oh, I hate the people in The View. They're mean. They're awful. I don't like Whoopi Goldberg or whatever. It just doesn't help. That's not going to help anybody because you're saying things that are hateful. And that's not something that Jesus likes, something that God likes, and something in that clip that they kind of talked about. Your obsession with what is clean and unclean was farther than God intended and does no good for anybody but yourself. We tithe everything so the poor can benefit. Down to the smallest plants grown in our gardens. And to that I say woe to you Pharisees. You tithe mint and dill and cumin, measuring carefully the last speck while neglecting what is actually important of the law. Justice and mercy and faithfulness. You blind guides straining out an act while swallowing a camel. Look at these people. What have you done to help them? Focusing on the material, the actions, the rules, the laws of the system, the Jewish system and the law that the Pharisees were focusing on. They're neglecting the people because they're neglecting the followers who were really earnest to learn more and saying, well, you have to do this, this, and this to be saved. You can't act this way, and if you do, then you're not saved. The earnestness and the curiosity of people who want to learn about the Bible, who want to be saved, that gets drowned out by the material, the actions, the physical doings, which is not what Jesus said the Bible is about, which is about faith. And it's really all about what you can't do, right? That's what separates Christianity from all other religions. What I'm just saying is when Jonathan Rumi or any other person involved with The Chosen or any Christian in general gets the opportunity to come onto a talk show or something or a big platform with a lot of viewership that is run by people who don't claim to be Christians or aren't believers per se, that's a only a positive opportunity and not a negative one. I don't think we should use it as an opportunity to put down the people who are involved in this, like Whoopi Goldberg, etc. I still don't know the rest, names of the rest of the people, but it's only a good outcome. There's only good that can come from this experience. And the only bad or negative that I see happening is from people who say they share the same faith as me, Christians. Fellow Christians are contributing to neg- negativity and hate. Those are the only people who I see doing that. And these people like Whoopi Goldberg or unbelievers, people who don't share the same faith, they're not under their responsibility to act the same way you do because God hasn't granted them the same faith. So. What is the only way that they can't share your faith? When you share it with them. So, in a way that's loving and caring and not hateful, right? We need to take, see this as a good opportunity. This is a great thing that Jonathan had the opportunity to do. I'm very thankful that The View wanted to have Jonathan on. They invited him on. That They felt it was good for him to come on their show and talk about Chosen and Jonathan and Jesus, his documentary on Amazon Prime. That is all super awesome. I am very excited about it. I like the clip. It was cool. It was interesting to see. And stuff like this is always, as I said, positive for the chosen community and for growing the reach of the show. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time you hear from me, I promise, I will be talking about Chosen Season 4 content from the episodes themselves. That's going to be a great time. Just a few days, we will have all seen these beautiful episodes of television, The Chosen Season 4, Episodes 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to be coming out with tons of content next week. I'll talk about everything to do with these episodes, all of the nitty-gritty details, explaining stuff. So if you're ready to see that, be sure to subscribe to Against the Current A, The Chosen Podcast, and turn on all notifications so you can stay up to date on everything that I post and all of the latest Chosen news like this, and maybe even hear my opinions, because I try to shove those in there sometimes, but I know not everybody likes that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Ben Jesus.